Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be looking at law of cosines again today. So last time that we had a video like this, we were talking about solving triangles using law of sines. Law of sines is very useful if you have triangles uh, with a given information of the format, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, or side, side, angle. Now we left side, side, angle for a later date. We'll save that still. What happens about those other setups? What happens if we have side, angle, side, or side, side, side? There's got to be another way to solve. Well, we talked about law of cosines on the last video where you just saw the desktop. But now I want to look at another story problem. So law of cosines, what we want to think about that's really important here is law of cosines works for side, 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 or side, angle, side. Okay. If you're given information as one of these two setups, you want to start out with law of cosines. Now, if it's side, 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 you're going to have to solve for an angle first. Okay, and that's these formulas down here. Okay, but what's really, really important is if you're going to solve for an angle, make sure that you find the largest angle first. And you have to find the largest angle first. If you don't find the largest angle first, you're probably going to end up making some mistakes, or at least there's potential for you to make mistakes. Find the biggest one first, you avoid it altogether. So remember, the way that we know which one is the biggest angle is it's got to be opposite the biggest side. Now, so this is if you're given side, side, side. If you're given side, angle, side, what you want to do is find that third side. Now remember, for solving triangles, once you find that third side or once you find that one angle, now you've got a pair of opposite measures and you don't have to use law of cosines again. These formulas are messy. We like to avoid them if we can. So what we'll do, use the law of cosines for one value, find that value, shift over to law of sines. Now what we're going to look at today are some story problems. Okay, in this story problem, got Brennan and Dale. Brennan and Dale set sail from the same port on the island of Catalina, which is off the coast of California. Brennan sets sail, excuse me, sails due east, due east for 115 kilometers. Dale sails, this actually says 98. It got a little rushed out there. Okay, 98 kilometers bearing 43 degrees south of east. How far apart are Brennan and Dale? So here's California. Here's the island of Catalina. We'll call that C. Now we have, let's see, Brennan sets sail due east. So that's a straight shot east. It was this way. Okay, and he goes 115 kilometers. And that is Brennan. Dale, on the other hand, goes and sails at a bearing of 43 degrees south of east. So if this is east, south is going to be this way. And he's 43 degrees south of east. So that means that this angle is 43 degrees. And Dale ends up right here. Okay, now here's our triangle. And we want to know how far apart are Brennan and Dale. This is what we're looking for. So this is side C of our triangle. Here's side D. Here's side B, which they tell us is 98 kilometers. Okay, and we want to find side C. Well, the setup that we have here, guys, is side, angle, side. So we're going to use law of cosines. So I want to find side C. So that formula for side C is going to be a squared, or in this case, we'll say D squared, plus B squared minus 2DB times the cosine of angle C. Well, we have all those values, so let's take them and let's sum them in. So that's C squared. C squared equals D squared is 115 squared plus B squared is 98 squared minus 2 
times 115, sorry, my writing's gonna get a little slanty here, times 98 times the cosine of 43 degrees. Okay, and there we go. Now we have this all set up as best we can. Let's simplify it a little bit. Let's not type it on the calculator all at once. So I'll open up my calculator app on my phone and I'll do 115 squared which is 13,225 do 98 squared, which is 9,604 minus two times 115 times 98, 22,000, 540 times the cosine of 43 degrees. Okay, well, let's just do 1,300, excuse me, 13,225 plus 9,604. And let's have 22,829 minus 22,540 times the cosine of 43 degrees. Okay, now this is pretty much as simplified as it's gonna get before we do everything. So let's put this part into the calculator now. So I've got this number minus 22,540 times the cosine of 43 degrees. Now remember, Anytime we're talking about sine, cosine, or tangent on one of these calculators, we want to make sure we're in degree mode. So there we go. We come up here, this button right here that says mode. Okay, we tap that. And we scroll down a bit. It's the third one down. Make sure that we are in degree mode. If we're in radian mode, it will give us wrong answers. Okay, then go back to the main calculator screen by pressing second, quit. Okay. Everything looks good, hit enter, and I get approximately 6,344.288. Now, this is C squared. If I want C all by itself, I need to take the square root on each side. So, take that answer, take the square root. And we get approximately 79.65. So we can say Brennan and Dale are about 79. 0.65 kilometers apart. And there we go. So if our information is of the form side angle side or side side side, we can use law of cosines. Now, if we have side angle side, we want to find that third side first. We use one of these formulas to find that third side. If we're given side, 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 we need to find an angle. And we wanna find the largest angle first. It's gonna be opposite the largest side. Once we have a pair of opposite measures, we can shift over to law of sines if we need to solve the rest of the triangle. But if we're just asked to find a single value, we can stop right there. We found that side that we were looking for. That's the answer that we want. All right, guys, there's gonna be a real short assignment posted to Teams as well. Uh, quiz on Friday. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you email me or contact me through the chat feature on Teams. One way or another, guys, make sure you get your questions answered. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.